good day, giving honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised. On this day and any other day, wouldn't you agree? Because without God, I always say, there could be no me, no you, no us, no this. Today, I'm coming to you with Worship Wednesday, and we will be reading from Daily Strength for Women. We do one, two, three for the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. First one, love one another. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. That's John 13, 14. Christ came not only to free us from death, but also to save us from our destructive ways. He demonstrated for us the way to live and then acts that we follow his example. He taught us the perfect paradoxes between his kingdom and our selfish natures and invited us to live for others rather than ourselves. He loved us with an unrelenting love and told us to love others the same way. To love one another is the trademark of the Christian life. We cannot claim to have known the love of Christ or to have heard his teachings if we fail to love each other because that is the basics of the Bible. God is love and his followers will walk as he does. Do you think the scriptures will repeat the importance of loving people if it were easy? Who do you find difficult to love? Number two, external confidence. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews 4.16 Confidence can be divided in two ways. One is from within, we feel self-assured by our abilities. The other is external. We believe we can rely on someone to do what they said they would. We cannot be brave without confidence, but the confidence we need does not come from the first definition. It is not wise to conquer, to conjure up feelings of bravery through self-assurance of our own abilities for they in a, inevitably will fail us. To succeed in life, our confidence must come from a firm trust in Jesus Christ, what he did for us on the cross, amen, and how he continues to intercede for us. Our confidence does not come from our own power, but from Christ's given power. Walk into every situation today, knowing that you have immediate VIP access to the throne of God. And there is an abundance warehouse of grace and mercy waiting for you. What self-assurance do you need to trade for God's assurance today? Number three, being brave. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's Joshua 1, nine. Courageous. As a Christian, you can be strong, secure in who you are as God's child. You show compassion to those in need, love to those around you, and think pure thoughts. You are kind and generous. You speak truth and don't compare yourself to other people. When the enemy sends his darts your way, you stand firm. You are persistently seeking your Heavenly Father's help. You read the word regularly, and you remember God's promises and obey him. You look forward to heaven and are grateful for your salvation. Worry and anxiety flee as you give over your troubles to the Lord. You have the courage to be bold in proclaiming your faith. Blessed are you that in time of fear and discouragement, you have the Lord to help and guide you through all your days. You are a child of king. You are a child of the king of the universe. Do you see yourself in these descriptions? Which are you confident about? Are there areas you need to work on? I just want to thank you for coming today. As I read you the daily strength for women and on this worshiping Wednesday, may God bless you. May heaven smile down upon you. But let me also leave you with this. Do not fear the unknown. Do not question what may happen tomorrow. For tomorrow has a way of working its own stuff out. Concentrate on today. Go to the Father early in the morning. 
before all the noise, the cell phones, YouTube, the internet, dealing with the children and the husband, running out the door to go to work. Go to the Father in prayer and say, Father God, open up your heart to him. Say, I need you and I love you. Will you please come in and sup with me? Give him that first time in the morning, guys. Whether it's reading a word, you can go to your phone and put the app on your phone about the daily Bible, a Bible for women or Bible for men. It's there. He's asking you to come in. Just open up your heart and he will be glad to come in and teach you his ways. None of us are perfect. I know I'm not. I'm learning every day. I hope this has been an enlightenment to you. May you have the best day ever and may today start a new day for you to be closer to the Lord. Amen. Mm-hmm.